chapter 14, Mishnah 12. The Mishnah discusses the law of a Mitzora who brought korbanos that do not match his financial status. If a poor person brought the korban required of a rich Mitzora, that is, instead of bringing two birds, one for Hatas and one for an Ola, which a poor Mitzora normally brings, he brought two sheep like a rich Mitzora, he has fulfilled his obligation. But if a rich Mitzora brought the korban of a poor Mitzora, i.e., he brought birds for his Hatas and Ola instead of sheep, he has not fulfilled his obligation, i.e., he is still required to bring two sheep. The Mishnah teaches that there is a case in which a rich person may bring a, the korban of a poor person, namely, when a rich person pays for the korban of a poor Mitzora. A rich person may bring the korban of a poor person for his son, his daughter, his servant, or his maidservant if they themselves are poor, and thereby permit them to eat from the meat of korbanos, i.e., his bringing of a poor man's korban on their behalf completes their tahara process, thereby permitting them to eat the meat of kadashim. This is because financial status is determined by the person who is obligated to bring the korban, not by the financial status of the person who pays for the korban. We have learned that a rich mitzora may not bring the korban of a poor mitzora. This rule is now expanded. Rabbi Huda says, not only is a rich person required to bring a rich person's korban for himself, he is also required to bring a rich person's korban for his wife, even if she herself is poor. This applies not only in regard to the korban of a mitzora, but also in regard to any korban in which she is obligated.